Hello once again, Matt Dragon for Flight Prep. Now in the overview segment, we're going to show you how to log on to the Flight Prep homepage, how to start Flight Prep, get an understanding of the screen layout and the user interface, and do an example flight plan. Okay? The first thing we need to do is to get to the Flight Prep homepage. And we do this by entering the URL, Uniform Resource Locator, www.flightprep.com. Once you've found the Flight Prep homepage, you need to log on to the Flight Prep Flight Planner. You do this by clicking on the Logon link. Then enter your username or email address along with your password. Once logged on, the Enter Flight Planner options will be available from the homepage. Now, assuming that you've logged on already, just click on Enter and the Flight Planner starts. Depending on your subscription, the first time Flight Prep will start, it'll open up with a map of the United States. Now, the map will automatically fit your browser window, so the higher the screen resolution, of course, the bigger the map. For clarity on your TV screen, we're using a lower resolution display. Now here are the flight prep pull-down menus, home and feedback, the aircraft menu, the route menu, and the duats menu. The report menu, now here is the help menu, and this is the subscribe menu. Next are the tool buttons. They are the route planner, edit flight properties, the flight log report, next rad weather, show the TFRs, VFR chart type, IFR chart type, view route, move pan map, add waypoint, zoom in, and zoom out. Now, you can set the map's map scale rather from 10 to 1,000 miles. Now, we can configure the chart as a vertical split or one window. And change the chart type from vector charts to VFR and IFR NOS charts. Now that you have a basic understanding of how flight prep is organized, let's do an example flight plan. Now, why don't we plan a flight from, say, El Paso, Texas, to Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's enter the airport identifier, KELP, in the departure field. You can also enter the airport name. You enter the airport name in the destination field. Now, if more than one airport is found, Flight Prep will give you a selection list. We'll use McCarran International. Next, we'll set the route type. We'll route on the low altitude airways and click on plan. Flight Prep computes the route on the airway system and draws on the chart automatically. Next, we want to select an aircraft for this flight. Click on flight properties and we'll select a B-36 TC Bonanza. We'll set our cruising altitude to 13,500 feet set our power to 65 percent and set the average winds aloft to 350 at 15. When finished, click OK and Flight Prep recalculates the route. The waypoints are displayed in the route list. The legend explains how to edit the route list. It consists of the insert at arrow, the blue add waypoint target, and the delete waypoint target. If we want to delete El Paso, we click on the delete target. Now, we'll also delete the Las Vegas VOR. Next, we'll insert a waypoint before the Las Vegas airport. Click on the blue target, and the insert at symbol appears. We'll scale our chart for a close-up of the Las Vegas area.
We want to insert Henderson Field, HND. Enter HND in the Add Waypoint field and click Find. Select Henderson from the list and click Add. HND is inserted into the route list and the route line is redrawn to reflect the change automatically. Now, before we go, we'll check the NextRad weather. Click on the NextRad button, and the NextRad weather is overlaid onto our planning chart. To divert our route around the weather, we use the Insert tool and just edit our route interactively. Each time we change the route, the route list is updated. Now, for greater accuracy, we'll import the Duat's winds. Click on Import Winds, and the winds are imported into the flight plan. Finally, we'll look at our flight log. The flight log is a PDF file and shows all pertinent flight parameters, such as waypoint, route, altitude, winds, course, fuel, time, distance and speed, along with the route summary. Now the total distance is 637 miles, total fuel is 61 gallons, and total time is 3 hours 45 minutes. Well, this was just a quick overview to give you an idea of flight prep's capabilities. Check out the rest of the video clips for more in-depth flight prep examples.